Hello, hello, this is Budgets with Grace, where I give you a glimpse of my life using the lens of my budget. My name's Grace. Today is Transfer Tuesday, and I'm so excited to be making my final transfers for the year 2020. First thing I would like to do is transfer to my high yield savings account. If you've watched this before, you know that I keep as many dollars as possible into that savings account to maximize my interest return. So looking forward into January, which is the furthest month ahead that I've budgeted for, I'm going to select all the categories I don't plan to be spending out of. So giving, probably not, but media obligations, definitely. True expenses, most of them. I'm just going to take out a Costco run if we need that. Really need to do my home repair stuff that I've been talking about for months, but it hasn't happened yet. Goals, just future will be going. Do not break glass, all of them. And then nothing out of these spending categories, perhaps something out of event funds. Select all of those and take out the gifts right up top and New Year's as well. All right, and that's everything that I want to transfer. So I'm going to look at the total available. I'm going to skip into my Wealthfront savings. So I've just copied that number. So this will be a transfer from my checking. I'm going to enter that big number minus 1000, which is in my other savings account, and then minus the current balance and press tab. And now I know how much I have to transfer. I've never used that method before, but it worked out pretty well, I think. And it's just a transfer. Oh, and I did it in the wrong thing, though. That looks more correct. Get back to the budget. The next transfer I'll be making is to pay off my credit card. I forgot to do this last week, so the balance is pretty high. Typically, I will pay it off every single week. Oh, and there's some transactions. Let's see if I can deal with those. Oh my gosh, we have two charges for eating out because I'm so silly. I ordered it online and it was like, we're not open until Wednesday. It was a Saturday night and um, makes sense because of the holidays, but I there was not a way to cancel it. So I guess... Tomorrow I'll be calling them. <laughs> and um, bagel Rita should be good. Emotions. Well, actually, I'll look up bagel -ry. This is our subscription. And every other time I charge it to Forest, which does confuse YNAB. Because it tries to um, automatically categorize it and flipping back and forth kind of screws with that. Anyway, I was here, I'll label this orange because I want to make sure that I remember to deal with that. Oh, looks like there's a little overspending. That's right, the overspending is because of that eating out. I don't have it in my budget at the end of December to eat out twice, <laughs> which is pretty damn good. But I will just make this full payment and deal with that later. So all I have to do to make that payment in YNAB is click this handy record payment link. Sets it for today, sets the right account that I usually make payments from and selects the full amount that I have budgeted. So to avoid overdrafting your account, none of this 1772 is in the payment. Only what is categorized in categories has a budgeted amount 
and has a transaction that was spent out of my credit card. It's kind of hard to see, but there's like dense fog outside. It's very Pacific Northwest out there. And now I'm going to look under goals. I was very fortunate this Christmas. So I put all of the money that I got from any gifts from anyone into my future category. If you don't know, I haven't talked about this category in a while because I kind of stopped contributing for, to it for a while. This is the category that I want to spend out of to go to Europe and to maybe have a wedding someday, which we were talking about more and more. This was probably one of the big reasons that I had such a large transfer into my Wealthfront account. But the category I'm looking at right now is mutual fund. I'm going to be transferring into that. So I'll go into my checking account add a transaction and put it into my tracking account for Van Mutual Fund and it will be an easy 100. Just going to flag some of these. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for my final contribution to my Roth IRA for 2020 that will officially max it out. It feels, I'm like, I'm getting really excited. <laughs> okay, so, and this will go into the tracking account for Roth. And now the outflow from this will be 330. I'll just double check that. Yep. Roth, I have budgeted 330 and now I can click save and my Roth IRA is maxed out. So the goal type has already been changed but I'll go into my reports really quick and look at spending by category and we'll look at this year. Goals 7,120 20% of my spending for 2020 or as long as I've been using YNAB in 2020. There it is, 6,000 to my Roth, over a thousand to the mutual fund. I did it for the first time ever. I can't believe it. Like, it's awesome. So this is a amazing feeling. I've been seeing more and more YNABbers jumping on the Transfer Tuesday train, which is pretty cool. So if you're making progress on Tuesday and you want to leave a comment sharing your progress, I would love to read it. This has been a Transfer Tuesday with Budgets with Grace, and thanks for watching. If you want to, you can like, comment, subscribe, all the things, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!